Today we are going to be going over Deep Days, a relatively new open source AI repo that allows one to generate abstract art images given a short phrase. This model is built off of OpenAI's clip model, along with adding a generator to generate images. I will be briefly going over clip, as it is the main contribution to this work. I find it very interesting, but if you do not care, you can skip ahead to see just how to run the model. Clip works by encoding both images and text together. The image encoder may be a transformer or it may be a ResNet, while the text is encoded with a transformer. The image encoder is given an image and generates an embedding vector, seen here in green. The same is done for the text, seen here in the blue. The loss for these encoding models is then computed by minimizing the difference for the cross diagonals and the matrix. At the same time, we want to maximize the difference of the off diagonal elements in a contrastive fashion, seen here. Important to realize is that the dimensions of the inputs for both of these models is a batch of images. So there's many images of dogs, cats, whatever, and there are many text sequences describing these images. So we want to minimize where they match and maximize where they don't match. So let's say the embedding size is 1000 and we have a batch size of 256. Uh, we will have a dimensionalities for both the image and the text of 256 by 1000 and we are computing the loss on these matrices. The end result of this process is a two-way model that given an image or textual description should generate similar embeddings for the image text pair. In other words, an image vector will be highly representative of a text and a text vector will be highly representative of an image. Given this fact, one can use one embedding to predict the other. Given an image, the text vector most similar to the image vector will be the prediction. We can see this here where we uh, encode the image down to a vector and then we see that uh, the match where they are most similar is selected as the prediction and that would be the text of a photo of a dog is most similar with the image of a dog. And so that is how we could use this model to make predictions. Contrastly, given a text input, a vector representing an image is given. Adding a generator on top of this, one can generate images. This generated image can then be put through clip and we get a vector representing the text of that generated image. We can then minimize the loss of the generated image embedding as well as the given text embedding. And this is exactly what Deep Days does. We can see here that the loss is calculated as the cosine similarity between the text embedding that the user gives and the image embedding. The image embedding being the embedding of the generated image from the generator that is then put through clip as a well generated image should have a similar embedding to the original text embedding because if, if they match that means that the image being made is similar to the one being described in the given text and if they don't match that means that we have uh, a poor performing model now that we have a solid understanding on how this model works we'll look about how to run it the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you have an NVIDIA graphics card that can run this model. According to the README, cards with less than 4 gigabytes should still be able to run the model. Though the README does recommend that you have at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM for this model. Assuming that you have the latest NVIDIA drivers installed, we can see how much VRAM you have by running the following command. NVIDIA SMI. We see here that I have two graphics cards, 
one with 6 gigabytes of VRAM, and one with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. So according to the README, one of these graphics cards I can use to run the model at its highest settings, and the other graphics card I may have to run the model at a lower settings. If you do not get an output for NVIDIA SMI, you need to make sure you have an NVIDIA graphics card and or make sure that you have the proper drivers installed. If you game frequently and frequently update your system, this shouldn't be an issue. Once you are good when it comes to your NVIDIA graphics card, the next step is to download and install Anaconda. Anaconda is a Python package manager that makes it easy to install packages commonly used for machine learning and data science. Let's navigate now to the free open source edition. Hit download. And we're going to be downloading it for Windows, the 64-bit version. And we'll keep it. And now we'll wait for it to finish. I will now walk you through the process of installing Anaconda. Next, read the license agreement, accept it, install it for all users. Uh, then select where you want to install it. I already have it installed, so I'm going to, need to give it a different path. Test. Now, important is that we want to add it to the path. Uh, by adding it to the path, this allows us to easily use it uh, in a terminal, and that's where we'll be running the program. Uh, I'm, you would hit install, but uh, I am not going to hit install since I already have Anaconda installed. So at this point, you now have Anaconda installed. PowerShell is where we'll be running the program. You may now need to restart your computer in order for Anaconda to be added to the path. Please do this now. Once you have restarted your computer, open up a PowerShell. The content environment is used to make sure you have the right software installed to run software uh, without issues. So the right versions of software, make sure you have everything installed. It just makes everything easy to get set up. At this point, typing conda and hitting enter should give you a display like this. You may need to run conda init for your first time. But uh, after doing that once, you should be good for all times in the future. At this point, we want to create an environment for us to run the AI. To do this, we'll do conda create dash n for name. Let's call it deep days. And we'll do python equals 3.7. It's going to ask you if you want to do this, hit yes. Okay, now we have a new environment called Deep Days. Activate Deep Days. And what this does is, is it puts us inside of this Conda environment. At this point, we would normally just be able to run pip install Deep Days to finish the installation. However, currently at this time, a bug exists, and I'm going to show you how to fix that bug so that we can still run the software. The issue has to do with using Clip. If you get an error regarding forward, uh, then you will be experiencing the issue I'm talking about, but hopefully following this guide, you won't get that issue. To prevent this issue, we need to install the correct version of PyTorch and CUDA. In order to do that, we'll just install the versions that Clip uses before we install the rest of the packages using PIP. Taking what I copied from the Clip repo, I will now paste and install the packages listed. This could take a while as the installed packages are fairly large. That took several minutes, but it's now finished. At this point, we can go back to the deep days repo and copy and paste pip install deep days and hit enter. I will do that now.
at this point, we should be good to go. We can test it by running the example. They have imagine a house in a forest. In the forest. So here, we're d running it for the first time and we're downloading the models needed. So now it's working as we can see. I moved to a directory on my desktop called test just so that we can more easily see the outputs and here's the folder. So if we open up the image now to start, it's just noise. It's not good. Um, but over time, uh, it will improve and we'll have a, hopefully a output that looks like the text given. One of the last things I wanted to go over is, uh, changing the parameters of your model and knowing when you can do that. So currently I'm running, uh, imagine a house in the in the in the woods with the default parameters um, and we can see the usage of the VRAM by running NVIDIA SMI like we did before and we see that I'm running it on the 3090 and it's using almost seven gigabytes of VRAM so we could bump this up substantially if we wanted to with this hardware uh, but for an average GPU, this is probably about what you want to run it at. By reading through the README, we can see what primers we can tweak, such as the number of layers. With more number of layers, typically the models perform better, as well as things such as batch size and how often the gradients are updated, but that is uh, something that uh, you need to read on your own or deserves a whole video on its own. However, let's look at what happens if we just do uh, a deeper flag. What this does, it runs it with 32 layers rather than the default 16. So here, I'm going to uh, run the same prompt as before, except with the deeper flag. It says it already exists while we're right, sure. So now it's running again, but if we run NVIDIA SMI again, we see now that the number of VRAM is now almost 11 gigabytes. So if you want to see if maybe we could increase some parameter to get better results, you always can see how much more headroom you have by going through this iterative process. A good baseline is, of course, in the README where it shows uh, different possible parameters to run uh, according to your hardware, I run it with the high GPU memory usage uh, listed here for the videos that I've made. Um, and so these are good starting uh, benchmarks to go off of. And there's, of course, more information in the README. And as you can see through the README, there are tons of flags you can use uh, to get different results. And it goes into more details on how to run uh, the model on different images, uh, but they're nothing too complex if you've been able to follow up at, to this point. After three iterations, uh, so it's barely ran at all, this is the output we have. So still very early, but still already very, very cool. So yeah, guys, that was Deep Days uh, based upon OpenAI's clip model. Uh, I hope this video was helpful uh, and allows you to experience uh, what I think is a very cool model. If this was helpful, uh, I hope that you can uh, leave a like and subscribe for more future videos like this.